we set the scene a little bit with the geology and what this landscape looked like 200 million years ago, but what would have been flying and walking around in this region at that time? Yeah, so the the major group of animals that were alive during the end of the Triassic belonged to a group called the archosaurs, which called, is, means ruling reptiles. And our modern archosaur groups are crocodilians and birds. They have all of these extinct cousins, right, during the Triassic period um, that we find here in the park. The bird-flavored archosaurs are things like dinosaurs, because all dinosaurs, or sorry, all birds are dinosaurs, and then sort of these dino cousins, very, very minor component of the Triassic ecosystem here in North America. Other places in the world, different story. The real major um, reptile groups here were the croc-flavored archosaurs, and these things were large, meaning, you know, some of their skulls were like this or or larger, um, and they were the dominant, probably both terrestrial and aquatic predators and even um, uh, plant-eating animals. And a lot of these things would have looked like dinosaurs. And some of their first fossils were actually confused for as dinosaurs. Um, They would have kind of, I always say they walked, talked, and quacked like dinosaurs, but they're actually more closely related to crocs. Um, So these are things like rawasukids, shuvasaurids, um, adasaurs. Uh, And then the smaller bodied reptiles, I mean, the Triassic is known for being sort of this like sideshow of the Mesozoic. So it's this crazy kind of evolutionary experiment in terms of what's happening in in reptiles. We have these things called tanistrophids where their necks are, uh, you know, two to three times longer than their bodies and their tails combined. Uh, Animals called drapanosaurs, which if you saw one in a tree would have looked like a cross between like a, a chameleon and a monkey. (laughs) <laughs> um, I mean, just really bizarre animals that are just trying everything out uh, ecologically. In the in the rivers and, and lakes and things, uh, we, we have kind of these large Volkswagen bugs sized amphibians called metoposaurs. Um, not at all related to any modern amphibian groups, but they would have looked like a large salamander. Um, we have freshwater sharks and freshwater coelacanths and lungfish that were in our in our uh, aquatic systems. And this, yeah, now we do know that we do have flying reptiles called pterosaurs. Um, one of the things that we are always on the lookout for are insects. Um, they're very, you know, they don't have any bones, so they're, they don't get preserved very easily. But uh, we do have some, like, beetle wing casings that we have found recently. Um, we have evidence of um, potentially bees or beetle larvae in some of the logs, you know, where they're, they're hatching or, or feeding and I know it's not an insect, but it's an arthropod. We actually have the oldest uh, crayfish in the world is from Petrified Forest. As a, and it's a really cool fossil. It's my favorite fossil in the collections. 